Using fanning, a range of values can be applied across a selection of fixtures. For example, a range of values can be applied across a selection of moving heads to create a fan effect. Another example would be a range of dimmer values applied across a selection of beams to create a dimmer gradient effect. In the editor, there are two ways to access the fanning effect. The first one is to use the icon at the top right corner of the preset faders. The second way is to access the fanning function using the timeline. If you don't know where to start, check the tutorial Create a scene with easy time. Then right click on the timeline block and select fanning. In this case, we will use the pan tilt block. The fanning window shows an horizontal line with the left point representing the starting value of a selected preset and the right point representing the ending value of the preset. Drag the ends of the horizontal bar up and down to adjust these values. By default, the operation mode is set to mirror, allowing for the endpoint to adjust to the opposite value as the starting point. Right clicking the curves at another point, allowing for additional values to be added. Clicking curve mode will draw a curve between the points. Clicking order will open the fixture order window, allowing for the fan to be applied in a different fixture order. Please note that here you have two tabs, one for pan and one for tilt. Now we will apply the fanning effect to the color block. This will spread the gradient range across the moving heads. For more information about the fanning effect and all the new functionalities, please refer to the user manual available on the Sunlight website. Oh. <laughs>